Hello everyone. I'm Naval Yamul. Welcome to my YouTube channel, The Data Master. So in this tutorial of Microsoft Fabric, we have seen the introduction of the Microsoft Fabric, and then we have seen how to create our first lake house in a new workspace. So we created a new workspace in our fabric with a name called Fabric, and in that we have created a new lake house called as a first lake house. So in this video. we are going to see how to load the data into the lake house so if you have not watched the previous videos guys i strongly recommend you to watch those videos and then you can start continuing on this video so you can load the data into the lake house by different ways so one is you can load it from your local computer by using an upload button here or you can load the data by using a data flow gen 2 or by creating a copy command activity inside a data pipeline or you can write a spark code by creating a new notebook or you can do let the uh, load the data by using a new shortcut also so let us do it one by one so first i want to upload the file from my computer or from a local laptop so let me click on upload so do you want to upload a file or folder so let me click on upload a file so here it is asking me the path so let me click on the browse option here and in my downloads i have one file called employee table so i have an employee table a csv file let me click on upload let me click on upload so you can see employee.csv file has been uploaded so within fraction of seconds you can see the file uh, inside the file there will be one csv file called employee table let me hit the refresh here yeah you can see in the files you got an employee.csv you can upload it from here also or you can upload it by this button like get data you can upload files from here also so if you click on this you will get a same new pop up window from where you can upload so once you have uploaded it is a file you can just click on it so you can preview the data in the same way how we used to do it in our adls So once your data is in your lake house now so if you want to do some transformations on top of this csv file you can at any point of time you can just click on the new notebook you can create a new notebook and you can start writing a spark code in this notebook via this path or you can create you can connect this to a new power bi dataset you can connect this file to your new power bi dataset and you can start creating a reports for this csv file so let me do that so first let me go to the open notebook and click on new notebook so once i click on new notebook here so a new notebook is created for you yeah you can see you got a notebook so this notebook interface is exactly same like if you have been working on the azure databricks databricks site so you get all the cells here you can use the markdown cell here so you can just use a markdown cell so this is my first first pyspark notebook you can start writing in this way and if you want to write a code you can just take a code in a new line and start writing it so by default it is python you can use some different programming language also like you can use spark sql and this cell will convert it to the spark sql or you can convert it to r also so you can easily change that by writing a magic command in databricks we write only single person but here we use double and just change your code to a sql so you can use double person sign and change write a sql code so your cell converts to from python to spark sql Yeah, so this is how we can use the magic command to switch your uh, languages from python to sql and from sql to scala and so on by just writing the person symbol so let me cancel out this now we all okay if you want to delete this cell you can just click on this delete cell and it goes off okay it goes off now if you want a new code you can just go move your cursor at the left corner of the cell and you might get a new code line here so you can run this by using a shift enter or you can click on this play button called run cell 
so now let me go to the files here you get one uh, files option here and you have one beautiful feature here you can just drag and drop drop the uh, table name or a file name here and the entire spark code is ready for you now you can see it is spark.read.format so you don't need to worry about what is a variable what is spark you don't need to mention what is spark session and all those things because when you are working on this notebook automatically the cluster is inbuilt so you don't need to worry about the cluster size and you don't need to worry about what is the type of the cluster you are getting how many gb memory you have storage you have you don't need to worry anything so just you uh, it is a software as a service again so you don't need to worry about any on the infrastructure side so spark dot read dot so it is format csv and if it is a csv we are using an option called header the true and we are loading a file with this path so you got a path also and at the end we are using display so let me run this at the initial it will take few extra seconds guys to start up that cluster and execute that yeah so now you can see two spark jobs have been created and one for the read and one for the display and you got your entire data here okay so you can check all the details here like okay i have all the columns and you can write some sql script also like pyspark script if you want to rename the column name you can rename the column name and if you want to get a new column and so on you can do all that spark coding using a data frame style in your notebook okay so now let me copy this notebook let me copy this uh, sorry let me save this notebook by just clicking on this and it is asking you the name of the notebook so let me write again this as my first notebook in the fabric so let me click on first notebook and let me click on create so we will be doing some more transformations on this like we will handle some complex scenarios we will take some json files and we will try to get that into a table and so on okay so i got i saved that with a name called first notebook so if you come to my fabric workspace you can see you will get a lot of things here so here we got a notebook now and we got one more notebook called first notebook that is just now we have saved and you have a lake house and you have your sql endpoint also created for you and you have some data set also so let me go to the lake house again so you can click on this lake house and from this we have opened it in a new notebook we have started querying it or we have started writing a pyspark code on that notebook so you can connect this file to a power bi data set also so how to do that we will see that in the next video thank you for watching this video guys i hope you enjoyed this video please try to do the hands on with me if you like the video if you like the content please do subscribe to my channel please like the video share it with your friends thank you for watching again keep learning see you in the next video